All right, now let's go to one four low. This is another popular alignment, especially if you've got a real good point guard against man-to-man -man defenses. Teams will run this all the time. They call it flat, whatever you want to name for it. But again, you don't see it often against the zone defense. Okay, but again, now you've got zone defenders. First of all, you usually got two guards thinking, where do I go? Yeah, I stay with the guard. One guy stays with the ball. What does this other guard do? Does he go out of that corner? Do I go to that corner? Does he post? Does this wing go? I mean, there's a lot of confusion. A lot of confusions. And, and even if they've, they've talked about guarding this, it still may not be, be that easy for them to get to their zone spots and who to cover. So basically, you've got to match up man to man. Okay, which would be great because now you've got the, your, your quick point guard with the basketball trying to create and get an easy shot. But again, the confusion early on, you may find somebody wide open. It's going to do a good point guard's job to find who it is. So if we go to the 1 4 flat. We're going to try to get this guy to dribble and penetrate and score into the gap. If it's not there, he'll hit the wing or inside. Point guard will cut away after he passed. Opposite wing is flashing in, and now we're right into our zone offense. Going to the short corner. Ball is reversed. He looks inside opposite. Perimeter guys, good. You're picking in or flashing, one of the two. Step into the high post. Good. That's it. All right. So again, it's the one four low. Give him a different look. Get this guard to to uh, penetrate in the gap. Let's get the one floor again. Penetrate in the gap. Again, if, so, if they come to help, you might be dumping down to one of these post guys or kicking it out to there. All kinds of options. Simple play, but again, against the zone defense, it's difficult, especially if they're not prepared on how they're going to match up quickly. And you're not running this every time. You know, you're running maybe call it two, three times a half or, or four or five times a game. You get three, four easy shots against, it's pretty productive play. So that's one four low, a good quick hitting option to start your zone offense. The other, if I've had a tremendous amount of success with, is a play we call stack. And I'm certainly not the inventor of this play. It's, it's, it's quite popular now in college basketball. And again, starting in a stack is another, another different alignment that zone defenses will have trouble, trouble deciding on how they're going to guard, which guys are going to which stacks. But this is a play we've had a lot of success with. We put our two post players together on the right block. It could be the left block. It doesn't really matter which side you go to. It doesn't matter which side. You want your best shooter on the, on the low stack away from the basketball, on the left side going away from the basketball, and your other three-man wing player. It would be nice if he can shoot that wing shot also. Now, as the ball's taken to the right side, this shooter's going to come off the block. Let's stop right here. When he gets to this spot right here, it's a term I like to call exploding, because I think it's a good job, a descriptive term for your players to understand it. This action has to happen together, because you're going to force your defenders to make a quick decision. If it happens slow, they're going to be able to make decisions a lot easier on who to guard, what's open, and who's taking who. If it happens quick, they explode quick, the defense has got to make that much quicker decision. So as he gets to this spot here, he's going to explode out to the corner. The top man is going to explode down and screen the post defender, probably right about here. This other guy is going to step right into this hole there. You're going to have one post defender most likely here guarding this stack. Okay. Now, if the other defender, your, your other low post or your wing defender hopefully went out with your best shooter. If they didn't go out with him, he's wide open, he's going to get an open three. Okay. So let's assume he's been covered. You got one post player down here trying to guard this. Okay, now he's screening me, he's open. If your other post defender decides to come over and help, this backside guy, you could do that, or hit here. This guard recognizes that he came over to help, and now you got your backside wing flattening out for a wide open shot. There is one other defender that's, that's going to be right here, a guard. Okay, now again, asking the defense to make unusual defensive slides. And I, and our championship game, when I ran this in our professional league in the Middle East, we ran it close to 10 times the professional game. And this guard, maybe one out of those 10 times, decided he'd come down and try to help in this action. And did a pretty good job of clogging it up. But now you're looking at this guy, hopefully if he still has his dribble, can maybe penetrate and get in the gap, because now this guard is gone. The whole floor is open. So a lot of counter options to this play if you're ready to pick him up. But again, you're asking defenders to make moves they're not prepared for, they haven't drilled for. So this point guard has got to make a quick decision. Did this wing guy go out and guard him? If he did, fine. You should have somebody wide open here. If this backside guy came over, to, he should be making some kind of signal that he's open, and we look to skip it quick. 
All right, if the ball's back here, if we don't have a shot, we can simply get right into our zone offense. It does not matter. Tony can hit the wing if he's open, get across, he flashes to the high post and out, and now we're right into our double post zone offense. All right, I'd like to uh, finish up showing you the uh, one out of bounds play with some great options. You can actually take this out of bounds play and incorporate a, a set play into it out of your half court offense in this zone offense. But I wanted to show you one, we'll call it the unstoppable out of bounds play. It's got some two great options in it. Let's take a look at where our alignments are for this play. The point guard is taking the basketball out. Of course, with your team, your system, you know your players better than I do. You can put people wherever you want. But uh, this is where I find the play to be most effective with these people in these positions. Point guard's taking it out. You've got uh, one of your post players on the block. You've got your, probably your best post player, best hands, best guy that can catch on the block and score at the free throw line elbow. You've got your best shooter right at the free throw line spot. And then your three man, your wing man, away from the ball. We start all of our plays on a handoff. We do never do any more of the slaps like you used to do in junior high or many years ago to alert your plays. We do everything on the handoff so the defense sometimes you catch them sleeping. They might be ready, they might be waiting for the slap, but we do everything on the handoff to the official. So it's important that our players are always watching the official uh, and watching the, the game so the ball's inbounded, they're ready to start the play. Now on the handoff, let me walk you through what they're gonna do. On the handoff, the first move is this post player is gonna step in and try and screen that post player wherever he is. Might be right there on top of him, he's just gonna try and pinch him in and then he'll kind of step in and try and seal for maybe a pass underneath. But he wants to hold this guy for a good one or two seconds, not hold him, but screen him and seal him inside. As soon as that move is going on, your best shooter now is flying to the corner. Your best shooter's flying to the corner. And as he's doing that, your best post player is stepping right into that hole that you can see we just created. Okay, this guy's got to be honored by the post player. He'll take that guy away. The wing defender now has got to go out with the best shooter. And you're going to find you're going to get a lot of open shots with this guy stepping right into the hole. Okay? The opposite wing player is going to come to the high post for, for a safety valve entry pass to get it in. So your first two looks, actually first three looks, and again, it's got to take a good point guard to recognize what's open, is your post player early might be sealing. you got your shooter and your post player actually at the same time. And you got to determine which guy it is coming to the middle or going to the wing. All right, let's run that play live. Unstoppable out-of-bounds play. Just the beginning now. We have, also have a second part to it. Okay, on the handoff, post guy screening in, shooter's going to the corner, big guy stepping right in the hole for a shot. Good. It's only unstoppable if you miss it. As you can see, nice wide open shot. Nobody was near him. Anyway, so that's your, your first look. Again, if they, do, if they decide to honor the post player, you're going to have your best player hopefully spotting up in the corner for a shot. Now, let's take it through. I want, to, I want you to walk through what we do in a second part of this play if those shots are not there. Let's walk through and freeze it. On the handoff, you're screening in. Shooter's going to the corner. Post player's coming. Let's stop right there. Now, safety valve's coming into the top. Now, if we can get it in, we want to try to get it to the top or to the wing. If these shots aren't open, we'll try to get it to the wing if we can. The wing guy gets it. Point guard's going to pass it in and get out to the opposite side. On the pass to the top, we've got two things going on. The guy who came in looking for the basketball is going to step into the mid post area, not all the way across the middle, but maybe a step inside the lane. Don't want him to go too far. We want him to go far enough where the post player has to guard him. If he goes too far, he'll check him off to the end of the defender and this guy will stay in here. We don't want that. We want this guy to occupy this low post defender. As soon as he touches the basketball, the guy who screened in is now coming out and screening the wing player who just passed the basketball. And again, good shooter is going to be guarded and we're going to look to throw it to him right in this hole here. And there's obviously two ways you can get it to him. One, in this hole, or you can throw a lob pass to the rim if you've got a good athlete. Okay? So let's look at that option right now. Passing it to the wing, and then to the top. We start the screening action. The post does not step in. This post does not step out to screen until the ball is thrown to the top. That's important that you note that. Do not start that screening action until the guy on top gets the ball. There's our first look in the play. No shots, good. Now we move. Pick, lob, or straight to the bucket. And again, the unstoppable play. Only unstoppable if you miss the wide open shot. All right, now, again, I told you the ball, the screening action does not start. The post doesn't step into post. The, back, the post doesn't step out to screen. 
until this guy gets it on top. If we can't get it to the wing player, we can throw it straight out to our safety valve man. As soon as he gets it, as I said before, as soon as that guy gets the ball anytime in this out-of-bounds play, we start the screening action. So this is how it'll look when we throw it straight out. Cutting right in the hole, not there. We throw it straight out. Now we start the screening action. Pick right into the gap, score. And it's the job of this wing guy. Let's get the wing guy out here. He's got the ball. Point guard cleared out. Okay, he's screened in. I'm sorry, you're out here screening. Now, that hopefully that screen will be a little farther. We get a nice alley in here, a nice alley to throw it directly or for the lob. Now, it's this guy's job. If this uh, post defender decides to cheat and help on this, he's got to make sure that post guy gets it and scores. Okay? If you've got a good post player who can also step out and shoot the three, this play becomes even more unstoppable, if that's possible. Okay? So, because he will screen. And if this guy tries to go through with this action here, now you've got a good uh, post player stepping out for a shot. Again, you may want to adjust the personnel. Maybe you want to put a good shooter in that spot if you feel they're cheating on this play. And you can get him stepping out for a wide open three point shot. All right, and then we get right into our zone offense. Let's run this out of bounds play, unstoppable play, right into our double post zone offense to give you a good review at the end of this video how the unstoppable play all the way through to our zone offense. Screens in, coming in the hole, good. Screening action. Good, not there, we swing it, good, pass, back, okay, flash it to the high post, steps out, we look inside opposite, post guys are making their rotation for the double post, you can see you got good ball movement, good post action, all right, hold it up right there, that's the unstoppable play right into our zone offense.